Ever wonder why the entire world seems to be up in arms all at the same time? Well, science is pointing to a really good reason for it all, something we call electromagnetic waves and their effect on us, on human beings. Let's take a look at the moon, for example. Now, we're all familiar with the man or woman in the moon. Well, the moon has a huge effect on us. I'll tell you, as a sailor, I don't go anywhere on the ocean without checking the tides. Tides are created by the gravity of the moon pulling the water towards it. So when the moon and sun are on the same side of the earth, the pull is even stronger. We call these spring tides. Tides happen about twice a day. Now, whenever there's magnetism, there's electricity and vice versa. Well, you likely remember that from your high school physics. Well, okay, maybe, maybe not. But in any case, every planet in our entire solar system gives off electromagnetic waves, and that includes the moon. Ever heard of the crazies coming out with a full moon? Well, that's real. You just have to ask a nurse or a cop. Or ask this guy. At the University of Miami, psychologist Arnold Lieber did a study over 15 years with almost 2,000 murders. As the new or full moon approached, the murder rate rose sharply for the entire 15 years, every single time. Now, the sun has its own rhythm. Every 11.2 years, it reaches its solar maximum when it throws off huge solar flares. Now, here's a picture of what they're like. You can see how tiny the Earth is as they throw out these huge flares. They can disrupt electrical grids, radio and television signals, they cause plane crashes, and wreak general havoc. That's because they throw off huge electromagnetic waves. Now, here's a chart showing the solar maximum and the extraordinary events that happen when we get solar spikes. You can see that 9-11 happened right at the top of the solar maximum in 2001. In the late 1920s, a Russian scientist named Alexander Shizevsky named the effect of these sunspot maximums the mass excitability factor. Humans get much more excited around the solar maximum, and they do crazy things. I'd suggest that we're affected because our brains are electrical. They're energy fields. There's no question about that. We get affected by even the smallest of electrical fields. For example, circadian rhythms. Now, they're the rhythms that set our body clock when we get up or when we go to bed. You might think it's all dependent upon the sun. Well, not quite. Rutger Weaver, a German scientist, did experiments over 25 years in a couple of underground bunkers. Now, this is the actual bunker from the outside. And here's the inside. Hmm, homey. <laughs> in one experiment, he analyzed the habits of 200 people over two months. He kept the bunkers free from outside light, changes in temperature, sound, and those sorts of things, but not electromagnetic fields. The second bunker was the same, except that he blocked out the electromagnetic fields. In the first bunker, the subjects became a bit unsynchronized, but gradually developed their own rhythm close to 25 hours, about the same length as a lunar day or two sets of tides. Hmm. Now, the people in the completely shielded room became completely desynchronized. They developed rhythms of varying lengths, about a 36-hour day and a 12-hour night. It was all over the place. Then he introduced a tiny electric field to the room, about 0.025 volts per centimeter, at a rate of 10 hertz. Really, really tiny. And most of the subjects became synchronized again to that 25-hour day. Hmm, again. There are eight planets in our solar system. They all throw out electromagnetic waves that affect life on Earth. But planets as a group are never in exactly the same place twice. So the electromagnetic waves are never quite the same again. And that's maybe why history rhymes. Far-fetched? Well, let it simmer. Science seems to be pointing in that direction. So next time there's a full moon, or you think about what's going on in the world, Think about how we all seem to be acting in a similar way at the same time, right around the world. Think about the riots in so many countries. Think about the wars. Why is everyone angry all at the same time? Hmm, something to ponder.